You grew up in Baton Rouge. Now you live in Atlanta. Now, at what point did you actually move to Atlanta? Uh, I moved to Atlanta like uh, five, five, six months after my release from prison. After my release from prison, uh, I had to wait for the paperwork to get cleared. And I, and I moved straight to Atlanta like five, six months after my release. You did an interview with Rolling Stone, and they talk about if you would ever live in Baton Rouge again. And you said, no, hell no, never. I would never live in Baton Rouge again. My past is too strong for me to go live down there. I'm always repping. I'm always shout out Baton Rouge. That's my hometown because I love it. That's where I'm from. But me living there, associating with the people out there, that's not going to happen. Right. Can you explain that a little bit? Well, like, my past is too strong out there. You got to understand that uh, I had a big problem with the court system and uh, district attorneys, prosecutors. A lot of people was trying to uh, take my life as far as, you know, in the court system. And not only did I, then I made songs about, you know, I, I was childish, man. I made songs about public officials and, and things like that, man. And... Uh, People, those, those people don't forget that, and I don't trust people like that. You know, it's nothing for them me to be riding down the street and they just stop and throw a gun in my car. Convicted felon with a firearm, man. And that's how I think, man. Uh, you know, like, I had the biggest case. That, you know, they spent, they spent millions of dollars on my case, man, and lost, man. So, uh, man, I, you know, like, like they, I, I'm a problem to these people. You know, I, you know, I didn't call officers' names, you know. Like, these people don't forget that, man, you know. Uh, also, I was a target in Baton Rouge, you know, like, Baton Rouge is small, man, you know. But I'm the only one riding in, 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 in Bentleys and all these foreign cars, you know. You become a target, you know. Not only are you a target, you're rapping about these people. You're, you know, you, your house is ten times the size of their house. You know, that, 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 would make me, that would make me dislike me if I was on the other side. Because, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm rapping about these people. I'm shining. Uh, man, so uh, I'm cocky. You know, I was a cocky asshole, man, you know. And uh, those people don't forget stuff like that, man. Uh, they don't. Uh, I always had problems with the police out there, man. They used to stop me every day, man. They used to cut my seats up, man. Come in my house and steal from me, man. Uh, take my rings. Just, just do crazy stuff that, that I'll never forget. You know, also I had haters out there. And, and it's always like that wherever you from, you will get hated the most. You know, most rappers die in their own city. Man. It's a fact. And, um, you know, you have haters who, who was in school with you and, and they mad because they was, on, they was in, that, in that third grade class with you, but they don't have the same hustle as you. You know, they hate you for no reason. They hate you for they hate you for your success. If you was a local rapper and you, and you didn't have much, they would love you. You know, and these people, you develop hatred in your own city. You know, if you go to, you go to Canada, you go to New York, you from Louisiana, you don't have hate, you don't have people want to hurt you because they don't know you. You know, they don't know you and um, that's why I decided to move to Atlanta. You know, if, if I'm dealing with music, this is a place I need to be, you know. Uh, Everybody ride foreign cars out here. I won't be pulled. I haven't been pulled over since I've been out here, but to take a picture and get an autograph. You know, they respect stars out here, man. They don't hate stars just because you're a star. They don't. It, that, that's how it is in Louisiana. If you if you if you if you go back, all Louisiana rappers, the big timers, they was ran out of Louisiana, man, because of hatred. Baby and Wayne, you know, hatred, man. Master P. They ran him out the country club, man. Just hatred, man. See, murder. He's in prison. Mac. He's in prison. You know, and 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 you just it's it's just not a place to be, man. It's a lot going on in that state that that that's not 100, man. That's that's not fair. You know, even from the laws, even from the sentencing, even from the education is poor. Everything is every everything is it's a it's a hard state, man. And um. I just wasn't with it, man, and, I, and I'll never move back down there, you know. I would never move back into that. I would be crazy for moving back to Baton Rouge, like, it, it won't happen. I just go down there, if I got to do a show, get my money, and I'm gone. Okay, that's interesting, because you mentioned Baby and Wayne. For a while, they were living in Miami. Uh, I know Baby had a spot in L.A. and so forth, but you were saying they literally got ran out of Louisiana? They wasn't ran out. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me clear it up. Nobody ran them. 
You know, it's just hatred and being mindful of your situations. You know, baby was a G in the streets, man. Baby, was, from what I know, baby was a G in the streets. And you always got haters. You always got people coming back. I want to I wanna get that reputation off you to beef with you or hate you. And, you know, like, you know, that was a smart move them moving to Miami. You know, in New Orleans, somebody going to try you, man. I don't care who you is. You know, these dudes on that H out there, these, this hell, these dudes going to try you, man. So, you know, you got you to gotta, you gotta be out of sight, out of mind for these guys, man. You know, I, 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 got, I, got, I got millions, you know. Why, 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 why would I surround myself with people who after me for no reason? You know, baby them been going through that since they was in New Orleans. They was beefing with all kind of um, different rappers and, you know, rappers, you know. Hey, niggas hating, niggas getting money. Niggas, niggas going to hate you in your city. You know, and I advise everybody, once they get money, get out they city, man, because that's where the hatred going to come. You know, people be like, that's how I was at first, you know. I ain't, nigga ain't running me. I ain't going nowhere. And I ain't going nowhere. I'm boosted. I, I don't bag down from nothing. Nah, it's not about it being bagging down. It's about being smart, man. It's about being here for your kids and being smart, you know. It's crazy. When you say most rappers get killed in their city, I start thinking Bankroll Fresh got killed in Atlanta. Shane Struggs got killed in Queens. We can go back who? Soldier Slim killed in Louisiana. Big L killed in Harlem. The Biggie and Tupac thing, they were traveling at the time, but everybody else, oh, Jam Master Jay was killed in his own studio in Queens. Right, right. It's facts, man. It's not, what I'm speaking is facts. You know, those are the guys, those are the guys who would want to hurt you, those guys, those guys who've been looking at you your whole life and building up envy. They build up envy to where they can't do nothing now. They can't, they can't stop you from getting money. You don't want to be their friend or associate. You can't come in a crew and get any kind of money. They're, they're too big for you to even try to beef with. So you know what? I'll just take your life. That's how, that's, that's, that, that's how the crooks look at it, bro. That's how evil, evil get in them so much to where they say, I just won't see him dead. That's the only way we can, that's the only way we can get rid of him, man. And that be the people in your own city who develop the envy for you. You go somewhere else, man, you a star. You're a star to them. You're a, you're a celebrity to them. You know, and, and, and that's just facts, man. It's just facts. Look, and I'm going to keep saying it, you know. If I was you, I'd get out, you, I'd get out the city, man. Yeah, man, it's fucking sad, you know. Have you seen Paid in Full? I just interviewed AZ Faison. He's the one that played Ace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the real guy that was in it. Remember that one scene where they ran up on him and beat him in the face and made him open up the safe and shot him? He told me the story behind that situation. I got shot in the head twice, man, and five people was in, in that situation with me. You know, three people died, and uh, three people lived. I, mean, I knew got... exactly who one cat was. Okay. I knew, you know, the cat, Kev, Kevin Clark, I knew it was him. The, the boy, your sister's boyfriend. Yeah, I knew it was him. It's crazy how sometimes other people around you or the people you try to help are the most dangerous people. Have you had a lot of your friends turn against you? Yeah, um... Man, I've been through all that. I just dropped a song when I was saying uh, I've been through the paid and full stuff. Uh, my best friend, Bleak, who I'm naming my next tape after. Uh, my other friend, my other, we was like this, all three of us. He on a murder charge for Bleak. Just like the paid and full shit, man. Uh, I've been through it all with, 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 with you know, my enemies used to be my boys. You know, in middle school, we was cool. You know, I went through a situation, one of my guys, we was, we was like this, man, but when I started rapping and got more, than, got more than him, he became jealous of me. You know, he was my big dog, but when I got, started rapping, he became, he became envious of me, man. And he just changed on me, man. And the rest is history, but uh, that's just how it be, man. It be those guys, man, who, who develop so much hate because they not you, they want your spot. It's all about they, the people wanting your spot, man. You know, they don't, they, they even, 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 even with, even with the, the AZ situation, you know, he did it because he wanted his spot, man. He wanted his spot. He wanted to be the one 
with the car full of garages and all this stuff. He wanted his spot, you know. 15000 is enough money for you to be straight, for special back then. You straight. You straight. But nah, he wanted his spot. He wanted his spot. He was once the man. When he came home, he wasn't the man, and that ate him up inside to make him make a stupid stupid decision. That ate him up inside, bro. He wanted his spot. And that, and, that, and that's what it be based on. It, it be the, the guys who, you know, once dap you down when you when you had one song out. But when you, it, it, and they develop envy because they go home, they get out the car with, they, with, with, with their friend, with their other partner, and he listening to your music. They walk in the house, they girl listening to your music. They go downstairs, the kids doing a dance to your music. Now they are hypnotized with hatred. They are hypnotized with hatred. They didn't go downstairs, they niece ain't didn't even spoke to them when they walk in the house, they just sang and boosted. They niece ain't didn't say, hey uncle or nothing, they just sang and boosted. They get back in the car and go to the store with their with they cousin in the car. They say, oh, that's a car like Boosie. That's a car like Boosie. Okay, they let son get in the car. Dad, I want some change like Boosie. All right, now you hypnotized with hatred. I'm tired of hearing about him. I'm tired of hearing about this guy. I know what I'm going to do. And that's how it starts, man. They get hypnotized. They get hypnotized, man. Hypnotized with hatred. Man, I've never heard that term before. That's a hell of a term. Yeah, man, they get hypnotized with hatred, man. And everywhere they go, they talking about this guy, man. And that could that could that could be a, that could be that, that could just just like AZ. Everywhere you go, probably back then they were saying, oh man, you this guy pushing a woo -de woo -de woo. Hey, man, you looking for some work? Go holler at AZ, they gonna take you straight. Woo -de woo -de woo. You get hypnotized by hatred. Then when you see it with your own eyes. And then some, he, then he, then he, you know, he probably, he's so screwed up in the head with hatred right now. He probably looked at it, oh, he's shitting on me giving me $15,000. Nah, he doing that out of his heart. He doing that out of his heart to look out for you. But you looking like, oh, he's shitting on me to give me $15,000. Nah, you hypnotized with hatred, man. You, you, you so hypnotized with hatred, you can't see the love, man. And that's what happens. They get hypnotized with hatred, man. I'm a fan of Drake. I'm a fan, fan of the idea of Drake, so no disrespect against Drake. What do you mean by the idea of Drake? What does that mean? I mean that if he has a ghostwriter, he's an idea. He's not meaning that it's, it's a perception created that he's not really writing the lyrics. And it's a, it's, yeah, it's just like an, here, let's, let's, let's make this in the factory and put it out. I'm just on top of my game right now, Vlad, and uh, I'm just getting blessed. I'm booked four or five times a week, six to 75 K a show, man. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm winning right now, man, and I'm just steady trying to increase my hustle.